Welcome to the spoken tutorial on text manipulation using Inkscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to create text on path, create text on shape, image inside text, text in perspective, and cutout text. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Inkscape version 0.48.4. Let us open Inkscape. First, we will learn how to create text on a path. Click on text tool. Type the sentence, spoken tutorial is an audio video tutorial on the canvas. Reduce the font size to 20. Recall that we had learned to create path using the Bezier tool in earlier tutorial. So, click on it. Click on the canvas and draw a tilde shape like path below the text. Select both the text and the path. Go to text menu and click on put on path option. Observe our text is formed on the path. Click anywhere on the canvas to deselect all. Select the text tool and click on the starting point of the text. Give some spaces by pressing the space bar to adjust the text on the path. Now. Select the path and click on Note tool. Using the handles, resize the path. Observe that the text transforms according to the resizing of the path. To remove the text from the path, select the text, go to text menu, click on Remove from path. Observe that the path is now removed. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo this action. Next, we will learn how to insert text into a shape. Using the polygon tool, create a hexagon. Now, we will insert some text inside the hexagon. I will copy some text from a LibreOffice Writer file that I had saved earlier. Press Ctrl plus A to select the text and press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Now come back to Inkscape. Click on the text tool. Press Ctrl plus V below the hexagon to paste the text. Select both the text and the hexagon. Now go to text menu. Click on flow into frame. Now our text is inserted inside the hexagon. Reduce the font size to 10 to make all the text visible. To remove the flow, go to text menu. And click on Unflow. Observe that the text has disappeared. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo this action. Now, we will learn how to create text on an image. First, let us import an image. Go to File. Click on Import. I have saved an image in the Pictures folder. Now, we have an image on our canvas. Select it and go to the object menu. Click on pattern and object to pattern. Using the text tool, type spoken tutorial under the image. Make this text bold. Go to object menu and click on fill and stroke option. Click pattern under the fill tab. Now, the image is formed on the text. To adjust the image, click on the node tool. We can see a square handle and a circular handle on the image. Click on the circular handle to rotate the image on the text. Click on the square handle to resize it. Next, we will learn how to create text in a perspective. Type spoken on the canvas. Go to Path menu and click on Object to Path. Next, let us draw the path by selecting the Bezier tool. Start drawing the path from the left bottom. Draw a rectangle in perspective with a larger side at the left side and smaller side at the right. First select the text and then the rectangular path. Go to Extensions. Click on Modify Path and then on perspective. Now we can see that the text appears in perspective. 
Note the text takes the starting point and the direction of the path. Next, let us create the text in another perspective. Type tutorial on the canvas. Go to path menu and click on object to path. Draw a similar perspective rectangular path using Vizier tool. This time start from left top corner and continue in a clockwise direction. First select the text and then the path. Go to extensions, modify path and then on perspective. Now we see the text appears from top to bottom. This is because the text is aligned based on the starting point of the path. Lastly, we will learn about cutout text. Create a rectangle and type the word Inkscape on the top of the rectangle. Select both. Go to Path menu. Select Difference option. Observe what happens on the canvas. We will learn one more method of creating cutout text. Again, type the word Inkscape. Go to Object menu and click on Fill and Stroke. Go to Stroke Paint tab. Click on Flat Color. Go to Stroke Style and change the Width parameter to 2. Go to Fill tab and click on No Paint. Observe a cutout shape has formed on our text. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create text on path, create text on shape, image inside text, text in perspective and cutout text. Here are a few assignments for you. Create the text Learn Force using spoken tutorials in a wavy path. Draw a trapezoid using Lucia tool. Copy the text from the code file and paste it inside the trapezoid. Insert the text in scape on a colorful image. Create the text in scape in perspective. Create a cutout text for spoken tutorial. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video available at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is supported by the NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.